It's really good. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I decided to go to the Waffle House. Now, I haven't been to the Waffle House, man, uh, since I was a kid. So I, I can't even remember what I had last. That's how long it's been. I, I haven't been to the Waffle House in forever. Uh, you know, you don't really see them a lot in the middle of the cities, usually on the outskirts. But like I said, it's been so long for me, man. But I was like, you know what? It's been a while. Let me try it out. Let me see, you know, if they still holding on to that original, original taste. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I had to get my big ass waffle. You know what I'm saying? And good morning, by the way. What do y'all see? My big ass waffle. And then my fixings on the side. You know what I'm saying? So I got this here. Check that out. I got uh, bacon and eggs or whatever. And then a little hash brown in there. And my big ass waffle. Now usually, usually when I come down to like waffles or pancakes and the size, I like to go for the waffle first. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, with bacon, especially bacon and eggs, stuff like that, I always feel like you can always eat that. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to to your waffles or your or your pancakes, it seems like they just get you know they get soggy fast or they get cold fast. And when they get cold too fast, man, they get like rubbery. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't really on that this morning. So let's go ahead and dust this down. Hope everybody had a, a wonderful weekend. Um. I actually had an interesting weekend this weekend, man. Very interesting weekend. So, I was thinking about changing uh, the layout of my kitchen. You know, I wanted to do something different. You know what I'm saying? So, I go into Home Depot. So that's the place you go when you don't know nothing, if y'all not sure. So, I went to Home Depot. And I said, you know what? I'm looking to remodel my house. Just the kitchen part, but I don't know how far I want to go. Like, it's still fairly new, so it's not like I need to change the flooring. I just want to kind of change the countertops, maybe, uh, you know, put an island in it and things like that. So I go over, I'm starting to look at a few things that's that's there, you know, like, you know, little display items they have. I'm like, okay, this looks nice. This could be nice. I'm trying to remember my color scheme, which one would I like? Would I prefer light or dark colors? All those things, man. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Sorry, y'all. How to get that for? How to get that first bite out? So. She was good too. So, you know, I'm looking at different designs and everything. And then um, this lady comes over, older lady, um, comes over. She's like, You need any help? I said, I want to say that I do, but I'm not sure yet. All right now, I'm just looking. She said, Okay, well, take your time. So, about 30 seconds after that, a uh, younger gentleman comes up, Hey, you need some help? Um, not yet. I'm still just looking. Um, I'll let you know. All right, no problem. About another 30 seconds, the older gentleman comes over. Hey, you need some help? I'm like, no, no, no. Um, I've actually, you know, been offered help twice. Um, but I know where to find you guys. You know, I'm still trying to keep it cordial. You know what I mean? Because if you guys have ever been to Home Depot in the actual uh, kitchen design part, it's not a big area. And it don't really take that many people to work that area. 
So I started to feel like maybe I was over there too long or something. I don't know if it was bothering him. So I said, you know what? Let me just ask this lady who came to me first. Let me ask her, you know, for help. So I started telling her what I'm looking for. You know, she's like, okay, well, you know, it looks like you don't have to tear down a lot. Just move this, move that. And we can add the other pieces, blah, 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 blah. I mean, very helpful. So, the older gentleman comes over. He's like, oh, everything okay? I'm like, Um, yeah, everything perfect. He's like, um, you know, I'm not sure her name, but he asked, hey, can I speak to you? I say, I'm sorry, sir. I don't mean to, to interrupt. I just need her for a quick second. I'm like, okay, sure. I understand business. No problem. He goes, I keep looking. After about a minute, she comes back. She says, um... I'm sorry about that, sir. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, in order to do that, we can actually come out, we can do a consultation, and, um, you know, let you know what exactly you would need. Whole tone change. I was like, wait, what? I thought you just told me, like, you know, I could do it myself. It just takes this and that. She was like, oh, um, she was like, no, just, you know, speaking it over with my balls and you know it's just best to do a consultation I don't want to give you the wrong information we'll come out blah 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 so I'm like well he could have kind of told me that I would have been alright with it but I felt like he was kind of following me around with it like I don't know like maybe he thought she was going to hook me up give me a good deal or something you know, whatever. So I'm like, well, what's what's the issue? I mean, if you guys need to come by, that's fine. So she was like, it's no issue. I don't want you to take any offense to it. And she said, uh, if you give me a minute, I'll explain everything. And I said, okay, no problem. You know, I've been here long enough. I can wait a minute. So, it's good, man. I like the eggs and the hash brown. They're seasoned really well. And my bacon is really crunchy. So, anyway, you know, I take, um, you know, take her pamphlet and everything. She gives me information. And she says, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, my boss doesn't think you really have a house. He thinks you're actually shopping pricing because you're working on someone else's house and you're trying to figure out what to actually charge them for. So he told me to not give you too much information. And if you felt that you can, uh, you know, that you needed help or whatever to let us give us your address to show that you really either have the house or that you're working on the house. I'm like, why would he feel like, feel like that? I mean, I'm over here like everybody else. And that's how he is. So what bothered me was, you know, trying to get people out of perception of judging people based on their appearance. And I'm not talking like racially. It could be just based on the perception of maybe what you see on TV or whatever the case may be. So, you know, I got dreads, I got tattoos. I walk in, 
And I'm like, I'm asking about repairs on the house. And the perception that he got was, I'm not asking about a house for myself. So, it bothered me in a sense because it's like no matter what you do, you're going to always run into a situation where you're going to be judged, good or bad. But I didn't have a problem with it. I was actually okay uh, with the fact uh, you know, that he underestimated me. I don't have a problem with that. I just feel like even at this point, there's so many opportunities to, to be successful in life now compared to other times that people shouldn't still have that same perception without knowing you, you know. Um, but it was interesting because I actually gave him the information, gave him my address and everything. And uh, she, you know, she was right because he came, he actually came out with two other guys and opened my door, showed him what I wanted. And he was like, well, we can provide a consultation, pricing, we can give you an estimate based on the floor. And I said, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to do it myself. But thank you for coming out. So he wanted to charge me $50 for coming out. And you know what? It was worth it just to see the look on his face. You know, sometimes, you know, the price you pay for self-satisfaction, man, it's worth it. So... It was very interesting, guys. I can't believe I ate all that food. I think because I just want to tell you guys what was going on so bad. But either way, the food was delicious. Waffle House. Shout out to you guys. That waffle was delicious. If you guys are ever in the neighborhood of a Waffle House, man, definitely check them out. You will not regret it. I know I didn't. Until next time, you guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below and let me know. You guys ever had Waffle House? How did you like it? What was your experience like? Until then, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.